Welcome to the Today in History channel, in today's video we will talk about the day. December 12, 1901, first wireless connection across the Atlantic. Guglielmo Marconi, born in Bologna in 1874, was an Italian physicist and inventor known for the development of a wireless telegraphy system or radiotelegraphy. In 1894, on a farm owned by the family in Pontecchio, near Bologna, Marconi began to carry out his first experiments, for which he built an emitter and receiver based on the model created by Hertz. He proved that it was possible to improve the range of transmissions he performed using vertical antennas. He also tried to improve the sensitivity of the oscillator and the wireless receiver, increase its power, and make it cover a greater distance. In the fall of 1895, after carrying out many tests, Marconi managed to get his transmitter to cover a distance of 2 kilometers and even overcome natural obstacles. At just 23 years of age, he had managed to make wireless transmission a reality. Due to the little support and interest that his invention aroused in Italy, Marconi moved to England, where he patented it as a wireless telegraph system. Then he created the Wireless Telegraph and Signal Company, which in 1900 was renamed Marconi's Wireless Telegraph Company. That same place, which also functioned as a research headquarters, was where Marconi exposed the importance that his invention had for the development of humanity. The tests and improvements that Marconi introduced in his radio signal transmitter and receiver made it possible for Professor John Ambrose Fleming on December 12, 1901 to carry out the first wireless telegraphic transmission from Poldhu, Cornwall, England which managed to be captured in St. John's, capital of the province of Newfoundland and Labrador, in Canada. Marconi thus established the first wireless connection across the Atlantic Ocean. The transmission, which was a complete success, traveled an approximate distance of 3,400 kilometers across the sea. In this way, Marconi not only proved that it was possible to transmit wireless messages in Morse code covering long distances, but also that radio signals propagated beyond the horizon, an issue that scientists had doubted, taking into account the curvature of the Earth. Although Marconi's efforts in the wireless field were largely ignored at first, after his transatlantic transmission his discoveries received worldwide attention, until, in 1909, he won the Nobel Prize in Physics. If you like the video of a force subscribing to the channel, like, comment and share. To receive new videos, see you next time.